Look, all I'm asking you lot, turn your backs for half an hour, we'll deal with it. That's all the world happens, guys. But what's going on, Chris? They're attacking him. He's my cousin Maureen's young. He's Matt Proctor and we want his hide! That is enough! Enough! Matt Proctor. Constable, you're not staying in town long, are you? He's entidled to protection, Joe. Protection, come off it. Why don't you come down the station while everybody calms down? Do we have to? Yes, you do. Yeah, well, apparently things got pretty willing. Look, I'm sorry to do this to you, but would you and Parrish mind going over to the Imperial, keep a bit of an eye on things? Uh, Mr Proctor, through there's my office. Take a seat. I'll be with you directly. Yeah, yeah, that's right. He's here now, safe and sound. Yeah. Good on you. Thanks. So what now, boss? We wait for them to calm down? That could take 20 or 30 years. You yeah, know, well, if I had my way... I would have left him to it. Yes, and that would be dereliction of duty, wouldn't it? Good call on your part. PJ and Parrish are on their way over there now. Let's just wait for their report. Good call on your part. Hey, we couldn't walk away from what was happening down there and you know it. Or don't you? Look, things you don't know about what happened a year ago because you weren't there and that makes you very lucky. Found him? Yeah, Consul Parish, you're Tanya West. Have you found him? Yeah, we just got the call. You got a missing child? Yeah, he's only three years old. We get back here, the bed's empty, Brittany's gone. Maybe if I came in. Uh, yeah, my partner's just still looking around outside. Your partner? Constable Jones. Yeah, Brucey's out there as well. What Brucey being Brucey Duggan, my partner, you know? Right. Well, if you can just explain to me exactly what happened. That's where my little boy sleeps. It was empty. Well, empty when? When we got in. It's nothing. There's no sign of forced entry. Look, kids wander off. They're usually found safe. We just need some information, OK? So where were you this evening? Brucey and me, we went to Shorty's. Right. Was there anyone babysitting? What kind of mother do you think I am? Of course someone was sitting, but when we got back here, she wasn't here, was she? OK. Uh, name? Phone number? What slack little mole she is. How could she have left him alone like that? Brittany. My waste of space sister. How long have I got to be here? With a child missing as long as it takes. But I didn't do anything. Look. Aaron. If he woke up and he didn't find his mum there, he probably went looking for her. So he's wandered before? He's, like, full of energy, you know? He's with you one second, the next he just takes off. So you think he might have just taken off this time? Must have. What else could have happened? I don't know, Brittany. You tell me. Brittany West. Yeah, thanks for getting on, boss. I'll leave you to it. I had to be dragged in here. We couldn't have done this at my place. Well, your sister Tanya's very upset. Destroyed. We'd stay with her until Mr Duggan got back. Yeah, Bruce would be a big help. And we're hoping that you might be. So if we could just start with what happened tonight. I got to the caravan about nine. Tanya grumbled, reckoned I was late. And then they went to Shorty's. Right. Yeah, well, they said they'd be back around 12. They weren't. So, I waited till five past and then I left. Well, I've got a life too, you know. So, when you left Aaron alone in the caravan, was he all right? You make it sound like I'd done something wrong. I only done what his own mother's done hundreds of times. I said, was he all right? Yes. Yes. Alive, well, sleeping like a baby. Paige. Hey. So what's the story? Brittany West last saw him at midnight. By the time Tanya West and Brucey Duggan got home, he was gone. Been missing now about eight hours. Not looking good. Hmm. Oh, the search? 
Gallagher and Stewart are out organising it as we speak. Oh, and uh, emergency services and the CFA have offered volunteers. Right. Well, meanwhile, we can't rule out the parents. No, unfortunately. Well? So, Jones and Parrish are out talking to the mother again. Well, and the father, he's this Brucey Duggan bloke? No, 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 no. Brucey's just the de facto. The father is your old mate. Matt Proctor. Oh, Jack the lad, eh? He had three girls pregnant when he was still in high school. Yes, and one of them was Tanya West. Hmm. Didn't St David's do him for assault a while back? Let's just wait and see what Tanya tells Parrish and Jones. He's saying your little boy was all right when she left at five past twelve. Yeah, well, she would say that, wouldn't she? And you arrived back when? Why aren't you out there looking for him? Oh, we have people out there now. So you and Brucey arrived back when? Why do you need to know that? Well, we're trying to establish the time that Aaron went missing. What's the problem, Tanya? Brucey and me had a row. This was at Shorty's. Yeah, Matt Proctor turned up there. He spotted me, wanted to talk access visits. Matt being Aaron's birth father. Brucey's more of a father to Aaron than Matt will ever be. But yes. Anyway, Brucey saw us talking, he got jealous, he chucked a mental and walked out. And then what happened? Matt put the hard word on me. As he would. I knocked him back, he left. How long was Brucey gone? All this happened a bit before 12. Brucey got back to Shorty's looking for me a bit after one. So he was gone about an hour and a half. I should be out there searching. We just need to establish a timeline, that's all. Timeline? The times everything happened last night. No, me and Tanya already told them all we this. We just need to double check. We don't need to double check anything. The poor little kid, he's out there, he's all alone here. Anything could have happened. Mr Duggan. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. This way, Mr Duggan. You can use my office if you like. Tanya's now saying that you two didn't go back to the caravan until 1.30. So? So no one told us this last night. We were too upset. We weren't thinking straight. And no one told us that you went missing for an hour and a half. You left Shorty's at a quarter to twelve and came back about quarter past one. Tanya told you this. Just tell us what happened. Matt Proctor comes waltzing in fresh out of jail and starts coming on to Tanya. And? And instead of telling him to rack off like what she should have done, she leads him on. Well, she says they were talking about access visits to Aaron. Yeah, well, I didn't know that then, did I? So... I lost it. I walked out. And you walked back in at about quarter past one? Yeah. So how did you spend that time in between? I had a few beers with Rog. Roger West, Brittany and Tanya's old man. We had a few. He talked me down and went back. Thanks for coming in, Roger. I ought to be out there with the search party. Tom, that little boy means everything to me. We often find that it speeds things up if we've got a very clear idea of the exact order of events. Clear as day to me. Brittany done the wrong thing and, and Aaron wandered off. It was cold last night. Well, he could get a chill, anything. Yeah. Any news? Mr West. Not yet. We were wondering whether you had any visitors late last night. This Brucey you're talking about? Did anyone drop in? Brucey Duggan dropped in. Can you put a time on that? Oh, midnight, something like that. And what was his state of mind? He was spewing. Then what? So we had a few and I set him right. But to my mind, the way he stuck by Tanya and Aaron makes him my real son-in-law. Not that they've tied the knot yet, but these days people take their time getting about it, don't they? So if Brucey is your real son-in-law, what does that make Matt Proctor? Nothing. A year back, he went the knuckle on Tanya. When I chatted him about it, went the knuckle on me. If Proctor was on fire, I wouldn't let my dog urinate on him. He belongs down the nearest sewer. Well, it seems to clarify that issue. So last night, what time did Brucey leave? We demolished a six-pack together, and it being late in the evening, put his departure time a bit after one. Thanks for coming in, Mr. West. Let's run Matt Proctor for a Great minds think alike. Mm. Right. 
So David's did in for assault, went away for six months, he's just out this week. What was the nature of the assault? Very nasty. He sank the slip, a victim's spleen had to be removed. Proctor was lucky he didn't cop manslaughter or worse. Anger management problems. What do you reckon? Maybe he's just a violent who. Mount Thomas 308 to Mount Thomas 900. How's that search going, Ben? Nothing so far. We've widened the perimeter. No one's in the mood to give up yet, but it's not looking good, and we're losing light. All right, thanks, mate. And keep up the sit reps. Yeah. They're still searching, boss, but um, look, no one really believes a three year old could have walked that distance. Not unaided. PJ and I are going to get Matt Proctor. Right. So, what's this about? You don't know? You came to me flat, you dragged me up here. What am I supposed to have done? Now, have you done something? Mate, one thing I learned in jail is if you do the crime, you do the time, and then your slate's clean. Why are you asking me? Your son, Aaron, is missing. Well, and no one saw fit well, to tell me! The caravan, he was gone. Oh, that slate, Miles, she's not a mother's brutal ace, is she? She's very upset. Yeah? Yeah, well, she should have been there. So how'd this happen? Well, the caravan was left unattended for some time. What's happened now? Well, the search is underway. We just need to establish everything. What, you think I took him? Did you? Well, maybe I should have. Then he wouldn't be missing Sit then, would he? Matt, if you did take him, you should tell us now. I mean, it'd be understandable. No one would blame you. Father, missing your son. Mother making trouble over access. We see it all the time, don't we? So, Matthew, did you take him? No. No, I didn't take him. I didn't. Right, we have you leaving Shorty's a bit before midnight. Sounds about right. And where'd you go? Home in the flat. Well, can anyone verify that? No. No, this is a nightmare than I know. My son's missing, and I'm a suspect. Excuse me. Jokey, take over in there. He's playing concerned parent, and I'm not buying a word of it. Just keep him talking. I'm going to go check out around where he lives. Mr Proctor, no one is saying that you are a suspect. You don't have to. I can read it in your eyes. Uh, Constable Jones just wanted to check something. You see this? This is what got me through six months in jail. This photo of my son. It's the only thing I've got to live for. It's a beautiful kid. Dump that kid's body in a rubbish skin. Like garbage. He never confessed? No, he swore blind that he wasn't. He never went near the caravan that night. Why would he kill his own son? Oh, I don't know, spite. To get back at his ex. I mean, because he's a vicious animal. Look, he's got prize for assault. And I found that kid's body in the lane at the back of his place. Now, a properly instructed jury should have sent him down. Yeah. But today, in the Supreme Court, they didn't. No, they didn't. They found that child-killing piece of filth not guilty. You reckon that lynch mob would have cooled down by now? No. I can't just sit here forever. If I was in your shoes, I think I would. Or at least wait until they've gone home to bed. And what? 
We're going to the pub tomorrow. The same thing's going to happen. Maybe. So what's she going to do about it? If a crime's committed, we'll investigate and arrest the offenders. Jury found me innocent. No, Mr Proctor, the jury found you not guilty. Apparently they must have had a, a reasonable doubt, which in the eyes of a lot of people around here doesn't make you innocent, just someone who got away with it. Do you accept the jury's verdict? Yes, of course I do. So I could get attacked tomorrow and you won't do a thing to stop it? People get attacked all the time and they've never been charged with anything, as you well know. Yeah, I was a stupid kid back then. Oh, I've done a lot of growing up this last year in a mind. Prison shrink said I had some anger management problems. Look, I just want to get back into this community, get a job and start again. Admirable. If you take my advice, you'll try and settle down in some other community. One that isn't Mount Thomas. This is my hometown. You'd do well to start with a clean slate somewhere else. No. No, I'm not leaving. Even if your Constable Jones does have it in for me. What gives you that impression? He found Aaron. He was sure I was guilty then. He's still sure now. Tonight, Constable Jones stave your skin for you. He'll do his duty, whatever he might suspect. He belongs behind bars. Yeah, well, the jury disagreed. Yeah, because the case was circumstantial. But what if there was a case it wasn't? I'm not sure I want to follow you down this road. Well, his temper's been getting him into trouble for a long time. What if you lost it with, say, me? You want to needle him into having a go at you? Well, I didn't say that. But if he did, and he drew blood, we could have him for indictable assault police. He'd be back behind bars tonight. Don't even think about it. And it'd be on his record forever. Someone who belted a cop. Jonesy, it's not ethical. And it's really stupid. Stupid? Yeah. I mean, it's dangerous. You know, the guy's been inside for 12 months. Think about HIV, hep C. Oh, come off it. Yeah, think about when he skins his knuckles splitting your lip and there's an exchange of body fluids. Can I have a cup of tea, please? And um, Mr Proctor would like a coffee, milk with two. Mount Thomas Police, Constable Jones speaking. Yes, Joe. Nothing much to report here. Looks like they've made their point about Matt and decided to get on with destroying a few brain cells. So fast, Donna. Uh, hold on a tick. G'day. Help you? Where's Matt Proctor? Yeah. Why? Because we want him. That's right. Sorry, oh. can't help you. Yeah, that'd be right. You couldn't help us when he killed my little boy. No, you couldn't exactly. help getting convicted no. and you can't help us what now. Did you, say? Did you get all that? You got him down the station, haven't you? Well, you tell him he can hide, but he can't run. Don't you mean run, but can't hide? Don't you tell me what I mean and don't mean. God's sake. What are you talking about? Looks like we might be here a little while longer. Child, how do you sleep at night? Tanya and Brucey just turned up with Tanya's dad. You know she was pregnant? I can't say I did. Jay reckons six months. So this time the father would be Brucey. This could really up the stakes. When she's carrying a child, remembering the last time, suddenly the guy you think is your first child's killer's back in town. Imagine how she'd be feeling. Well, should we get down there? Give them some backup. That'll only aggravate the situation. Yeah, but there's a pregnant woman there. In which case, we don't want her in the middle of an all-in brawl. I trust PJ and Parrish to talk some sense into her. Well, I reckon we should march on the police station right now. Yeah, I don't think that's very the wise. The bastard doesn't deserve to live. Of course he doesn't. Breach the peace and you'll be in a cell for the night. Is she right or is she right? Absolutely. She's right. right. If it was up to me, I'd shoot the Look, bastard. I understand that you are angry. I really do. But some of you have had a bit to drink. And anger and grog are a bad combo. Oh, Look, listen to him, guys. We see too many people waking up in a cell wondering why they just ruined their life. If you do something stupid, you'll never live it down. Pretty true. So why don't we all just go home, go to bed, think about it all in the morning? And while you are thinking about it, just you remember that that jury heard the evidence and they acquitted him. Oh, you ask oh, yourselves oh, if you're smarter than the Supreme Court. What? Well, of course what? I am for a start. That mob wouldn't know if they'd swallow the bus till the people started getting off. You're right, right, right. Oh, Roger, you know you haven't got the brains of the guy gave sheep. Oh, don't you talk, you bitch. It's your murder and nephew that started all oh, right, this. Right, Just get him out of here. Oh, you can't the house. They think they know everything. So now PJ and Joe can be a watching brief down there. It's their call to make. The last thing we need is a, a full scale riot on our hands. Little Proctor. 
You don't want him hanging around your office like a bad smell, do you? You have a suggestion? Well, chuck him in the interview room. Me and Sus can keep an eye on him. Let you get on with your paperwork. Okay. Mr. Proctor, we're going to relocate you to the interview room. What, are you going to interview me? Uh, it's just a question of logistics. Constable, do the honours, would you please? This way, sir. <laughs> Jones. A word. Mr. Proctor has some concerns about you and his physical well-being. Well, if he thinks that I'd risk my career for the satisfaction of belting him one, he's off his tree. That's about what I told him. Is that it? Evan, you can't change what the jury did today. And what they did. That doesn't make you sick? Yes, of course it does. Look, they saw those crime scene photos and acquitted. Listen, this anger that we're both feeling is why us and the courts are kept separate. You don't want to see the day when coppers become judge and jury. That's where it starts and it ends up in death squads. Now, the court has ruled. It's over. Move on. Can you imagine what it was like for me? Being accused of such a terrible crime? Knowing I hadn't done it? Oh, you've got to be kidding. Hadn't done it. You think we're stupid, man? No. I got a fair trial. I hope they don't accept that. Well, if you're talking about everyone in Mount Thomas, what we were hoping for is that you'd rot in hell. You can't talk to me like that. Can't I? It was me that found him. I was looking through the rubbish skip. Thought there was nothing there. And I saw a little boy's leg. You have no right even to be raising this. Haven't I? The rats and the birds had been at him. You, his own father, left him there where vermin could get at yeah, him. Yeah, all right, Jones, And what does that enough. make you, Matt? Worse than a crow? Nah, worse than a rat. They're just animals looking for the next meal, but you... You're supposed to have a conscience! <sighs> Mr Proctor. Hmm? Your witness is now leaving. Thanks, Constable. What are you doing? Don't make it worse. Suze. No. You want to fit him up for indictable assault police? That's fine. I'm not going to help you. Yeah, well, you didn't see that kid. Has it occurred to you that the court might actually have got this right? No. That he might not be a child killer. That he might be innocent. That he might have already suffered enough hell in prison. No, no and no. In that order. That hasn't occurred to me because I know what he did. So we now have a station debating society, do we? I'd like another cup of tea, please. Our guest could probably use another coffee. Yes. He's still a free agent and has the same rights as you and me, and we all need to remember that. Mr Proctor, out here, please. I want to keep you in full view. Chrissy, if anyone starts looking worse for wear... Come on, Pete. You I'm know not, the rules better than I'm you not do. I'm telling you how to run your pub. Oh, no, of course not. Uh, but if you wanted to close up early, hmm? I'll just go to another pub. At least now you know where they are. Roger, I thought Roger. I told you to... Roger, get back. Okay, that's it. You are Bart. Oh, 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 just get there. Shut up. Roger. Come on, mate. Just, just, just put the gun down. No way. I want Matt Proctor. I want that animal that killed my grandson, and I want him now. Feeling pleased with ourselves, are we, Matt? Killed your kid and got away with it? Thank you. It was getting chilly in here. Text from Joe. Chris Hostage. Get on to St David's. Ask for backup. I'll get over there and assess the situation, let you know if we need soggies. Yeah, it's uh, Susie Rainey here at Mount Thomas. Jones. We have a hostage situation at the Imperial Hotel. Mr. Proctor had better be yeah, in perfect health when I get back. Yeah, it's but he wants backup. Or it's your career. Right. Well, they're tied up at the moment. They'll get their ASAP. Now, Chris is a very good friend of mine. And if she's hurt because of you, you're going to be history, pal. 
Roger, just put the gun down. I'm going to be charging you bar rates for that. We could work it out. You give me Matt Proctor and we could work it out. Okay, come on, out of here now. I'm not leaving nice slow. Nice and slow, let's everyone... What see. do you think you're doing? I'm trying to get your friends out of the firing line to the west. No way. No one leaves here till I'm delivered Matt Proctor. And we're not leaving till that happens, mate. No, right. exactly. Irene, right. what are you doing? Well, it's just... We'll throw I... it over here. Roger, no phone calls, OK? Nobody makes any phone calls till I get Matt Proctor. Roger, we would need permission from the top. I'm telling you right now, we're not going to get it. Then we're going to be here for a long time because I'm not budging. Nor us. So I'm going to get Bob to stand up. Evening, Roger. Had a bit to drink, have we? Give me your gun. I'm sorry, I can't do that, Roger. I'd lose my job. Give it to me or she gets it. Roger, I've known you and your family for a long time. You're a better man than this. You've raised two fine girls. You've, you've got a grandchild on the way. And what happened to the first one? That's right. The tragedy and the whole town's heart went out to all of you. Look, I know what you've been going through, but Aaron's at peace now. This isn't going to bring him back. I've got my own anger. I've got my own grief. got to work them out in my own way. Look, we've all felt anger and grief for you and Tanya. Tanya, you don't want your father to go to jail. In a couple of months, you don't want to be bringing your baby to visit his granddad in prison. So we just forget about it? Let him get away with it? No, no, no one want? can forget what happened. And it's really hard to forgive, but I'll tell you something, Roger. If you don't forgive people, you're stuck with them forever. Getting onto the preachy stuff now, are we? It's common sense. Forgive and it's over. The people who hurt you aren't festering inside you anymore. You've, you've cleaned the wound and you can get on with the rest of your life. He come back to town, rubbed our faces and that's... Yeah. Yeah. Right. I've advised him that he should leave. Start life again somewhere else. You give him to us and we'll make him leave. We'll him. That is never going to happen. Never? Never. Over your dead body, eh? That's right, Roger. Over my dead body. Gotcha. You're not at home. Got something I thought you might like to see, Matt. It's what I had to see when I found your son. A little boy dead in a rubbish skip. You have no right to show me that. Haven't I? Look at it. Take responsibility for what you did. Is this necessary? I think so, yeah. That's what he did to his son. The jury cleared me. They didn't clear you! They didn't clear the Matt Proctor that we know him, Mount Thomas. They cleared a new suit, some crocodile tears and a good lawyer. There! Try not to put your feet on it. Tom, I've got no argument with you. While well, I'm wearing this uniform and you're doing what you're doing, yes, you do, Ab. <sighs> you're twisting everything I say. Roger, none of these people have done anything to hurt you. Let them go now. Let's leave this between you and me and that way no one will get hurt. You reckon you can get him to leave town? Not hang around rubbing our faces in it? Not good enough, mate! You bad. interrupt again, mate, and I will arrest you. I think... I can persuade him, yes. What's going on here? Not now, Brittany, not now. Roger, the rifle. Dad's got himself right. in trouble and it's your fault as usual. My fault? Why has it always right. got to be my fault? Because it always oh, is. I walk in, I find Dad. Why did this find your own bum with a compass into your hands? I think you would have that fault. You should talk, you should put yours on the highway and call the mouth, Thomas. All right, Roger, you've made your point. Shut up. I've got the gun, so I've got the floor. It's all about you, is it, Dad? Just shut up, Brittany. Don't you speak to my daughter like that. Don't ever. Just get over there and sit down. No, you don't. Shot fired. Pull that trigger yourself coming back here.
getting people all stirred up. Yes, and David's look, it's constable raining here again. There's a shot being fired at that siege. How far off is the backup? Oh, what, that, oh, it's not my problem. I'm telling you, we don't need any more bodies in here. What are you doing? Yourself, trying to keep your father alive and out of the room. He just wants Matt, right? Well, he can't have him. But what if Matt never done it? Don't be stupid. Dad, what if Matt never done it? I keep telling him that. Shut up! What if someone else did? She's never told the truth in her life, Dad. She told me I had two feet, I'd count them. Brittany. If you know something, now is the time to if say it. If it wasn't Matt, then who was it, slug brain? Brucey. What? He done it. I seen him drive into the caravan park as I left. You'd do anything, wouldn't you? Anything to ruin my happiness? Tanya, Tanya. please. Roger. I need my people to question Brittany. Get a clear statement. Somewhere away from all this. In the dining room there. Where I can see them through the hatch. And don't try running, because I can see you. So am I allowed to get myself a drink? No. Sit down. So you're saying uh, that Brucey was there? Yeah, I am. It's not what you were saying a year ago. Yeah, well, a year ago I thought Matt had done it. I mean, you lot did, so why shouldn't I? But now you've changed your mind. Well, Matt's been acquitted. That means he never done it, right? Look, why are we bothering? We all know who did it and it wasn't Brucey. Look, Matt either done it or he didn't. And the court says he didn't, so someone else must have. Yeah, the court got it wrong. So now you're saying Brucey Duggan was there when the boy disappeared. That's right. He's been alibi by your father. I don't care what Dad says. I seen Brucey drive in there at five past when I left. Think about... Clock's ticking, Roger. There are going to be more police here soon and things get really awkward. Somebody might get hurt. Right, there might be something in this. I need to speak to Brucey. So what's he say? He'd like to talk to Brucey, if that's OK with you. Yeah, OK. What are you talking to Brucey for? He hasn't done anything. You're not actually going to believe that silly little slag, are you? Well, she's saying you were there at five she's past lying. twelve. No. She's lying. Yeah? Well, that crossed my mind too, but you know what? Something really strange just happened in there. What? Well, it's what Roger didn't say. Didn't say? Well, he was your alibi for the night, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A year ago, he said that you went to his place around midnight and came back about one. So? So that alibi took you off the suspect list. So when Brittany just accused you, Roger didn't say... Couldn't have been Brucey. We were demolishing a six pack at the time. He's upset he's got other things on his mind. Yeah. Let's go ask him, mate. What's going on? Tell him I was with you, Rog. He's trying to get my Brucey in trouble. I seen him. Take it back! Take oh, it back! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Don't oh, speak! No! Okay. Don't say the word. Roger! Tell us. This scum here, this murdering oh. scum. I backed up his story. Give him his alibi. Why? Because I thought Matt had done it. Stop you wasting your time on Brucey ah. here. Now I find out... You that haven't found out anything yet. Look, there's been an accusation made. Brucey doesn't seem to have an alibi, but that's all. That's not evidence. We need to do a lot more checking. Roger, leave it to us. You squeeze that trigger, it's murder. And then you're on your own and no one can help you. It's what the research shows, Matt. People who break big laws break small ones. Catch a fair evader, might have a drug dealer. Find someone who keeps putting their feet on our desks, you've probably got a child killer. Give it a rest. What's it say? Brucey, killer, Matt, innocent. How do you like them apples, constable? You're not innocent. You couldn't even spell it. What's a take, huh? What's a take? More than you've got, Matt. Why'd you do it? Because he was old enough to start telling people that you were sexually <laughs> abusing him? <laughs> oh. 
You just crossed the line, Proctor. You're gone. I'm arresting you for assault police. And how do you like them apples? Your cases? Does animal hurt you? Some animal did. I'm not sure which one. Now sit down. It's okay. Just get yourself fixed up. Constable, I don't trust you with him. I will mind him. I don't want you in here. Okay. okay. Get out! Sorry, I didn't mean to hit you. I know that. I know who you were swinging at and I know why. It's just this bloody temper. <sighs> Prison shrink was trying to help me with it. He had to call me a rock spider. Yeah, I heard what he said. I haven't lost my temper like that, not since, um... Not, 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 not since... He had to show me that photo, didn't he? Why do you have to show me that photo? You did it, didn't you? I didn't mean to. It was Brittany. Brittany, Brittany was there? What was it, Matt? What happened? You got to the, to the caravan, Brittany was there. What was it? You were having sex. You were having sex. Aaron woke up. When he started screaming. He saw you, he started screaming. Why did you go to the caravan in the first place? Um, I just gotten out of jail. Um, I went to Shorty's, you know, to try and get back with Tanya. And uh, she wasn't having any. So I, I, I said I wanted access to Aaron, you know, and um, she said she'd fight it. So I had to see Aaron, right? Right, so, so you went to see him? Yeah, I got there. And Brittany, she led me on. You know, I'd been in jail six months. I mean, just the smell of a woman. Things got out of hand and, um, Aaron woke up and, um, uh, he started screaming and Brittany, the <laughs> mole, she was yelling. And, uh, I just tried, I just tried to shut him up. Hey. <laughs> My nice pack. Sit down. Tell me if it's hurting. He just confessed. Well, co he confessed? Yeah. He was having sex with Brittany and Aaron woke up. He started screaming and, um, and he just lost it. So now he confesses. Jonesy, I'm sorry. No, no. I'm sorry. I was so angry. I just went out of the wrong way. Yeah, well, I can see how the jury bought his story. And now he can't be tried again. Double jeopardy. He's been tried and acquitted. Now he's home free. It's a mess, isn't it? I can take over this now. And... Oh. You're very gentle. Should have been a nurse. Nurse Jones. Yeah, right. So, um, so what about this text message saying Brucey may be the killer? What's all that about? I don't know. I mean, well, Brittany's obviously perjured herself once for Matt already. 
Maybe she's doing it again. It's cause he wasn't Aaron's dad. He always hated Aaron for that. That is not true. Uh, you hated him cause he was Matt's son, not yours. You don't know nothing. Uh, Tanya, tell him, please. Aaron was Brucey's son. What? Oh. Matt dumped me, didn't he? So I'm going with Brucey, then Matt suddenly wants me back again. Yeah, well, Matt never really loved you, he told me. He could always wrap me around his little finger. But when I went back to him, I was carrying Brucey's child, carrying Aaron. See, so why, why would I kill him? Why, why would I kill my own son, huh? You told Brucey, but you never told anybody else. I was scared. Scared of Matt and that temper of his. But love, he was in jail. But coming out, if he knew that I'd lied to him, he Matt's would've... got something that he wants to say. Hello, Ed. Uh, 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 if you think I'm going in there and telling Roger I killed his grandson when he's got a gun, you forget it. God's name, is he doing? He's just confessed to killing Aaron. Prove it. He did, boss. So you bring him into the middle of a hostage situation? I sometimes think I'm surrounded by idiots. We, we just... We... And what happened to your face? Accident. I'm fine. He's been arrested. Put him somewhere out of the line of fire. The parlour, perhaps. You can't keep me here. You're under arrest. We can keep you anywhere we like. All right, I can tell you for certain that Brucey didn't do it. So who did? I can't tell you that till we've concluded our investigation. He's doing a number on your dad. I'd be very careful what I said in future if I were you. I give you my word. Brucey's in the clear. Cross your heart and spit to death. If it'll help. Cross my heart and hope to die. <coughs> now put the gum down. Oh. oh. You really conned your dad. I mean, where's the evidence? You really want to know? Matt Proctor has just confessed. So sit down and shut up. What? Where's my rifle? Oh, for God's sake, Roger, you're in enough trouble. Trouble? Oh, I put down the gun, didn't I? Firearm offences. Afraid. So we really did do it? Yeah, I'm afraid so. I, I just I didn't want to believe it. He was always such a sweet little kid. All right, everybody, show's over. Please leave in an orderly fashion. I don't suppose there's any chance of another round. No, oh, Don't be so stupid, Sergeant Croydon. What can I do for you, Tanya? I was wondering if I could have a word with Matt. Why would you want that? A few things I've got to say. Like well, caught in the magazines, closure. Right now, I think that's a really terrible idea. What you should do is go home, put your feet up, and get Brucey to make you a nice hot drink. Oh, I'm all stirred up. I couldn't relax. Brucey, can I have a word, boss? Yes, Look, I notice Brittany's still in there. Yeah? On Matt's version of events, she saw him murder her sister child, then perjured herself oh, to protect him. God. I want to chuck the book at her, boss. We would have to prove it. Yes. Oh, you all right? Yeah, the baby just changed positions under my rib. Makes it hard to breathe. Will I get you some water? No, I'll be all right in a tick. Matt is saying... But you saw him kill Aaron. Bullshit. That'd make you an accessory. Not to mention the perjury. Matt never said any of that. He's talking, Brittany. If we get everything we need from him, we don't need you. You're just trying to scare me. What do you reckon she'd get, boss? 15, 20? Oh, 15, maybe. I'm so not listening to oh, this. With that attitude, 20 for sure. Yeah, judges do I'm like to listening. see a bit of contrition. Where's she going? Never you mind. Sit down. No more questions, Matt. We don't need your version. Brittany's giving us all we need. She'd never. Suit yourself. Boss wants him out to the bar. What? She had me a drink, eh? Not as such, Mr. Proctor, no. You OK, sweetheart? Yeah, I think so. Why don't you take her home? You've been making up lies again, Brittany. No, I never said anything, Matt. How can I believe you? They've been saying you dobbed on me. How could I dob on you, huh? What you ever done? Yeah, see? 
You can't separate us. We'll never dob on each other. You see, she already has, Matt. We got a statement. No. The way you came to the caravan, you two started getting it on. The Laram was. You stupid slagging bitch! No, no, I never said We're going to be married. Married? You have to be kidding. You said you would. I wouldn't marry you if you came with a lotto win. Okay. Okay. You want to know what really happened? Here's what really happened. He came to the caravan. He was crying. Her. Tanya. She'd just broken his heart, told him Aaron wasn't his, that Bruce he was the father. Can you imagine? That loser. And Matt just stormed in and... Oh, maybe if Aaron hadn't have woken up, maybe if he hadn't cried, and Matt just went mental and... And then? Shook him, bashed him, put the pillow over his face. I tried to stop him, but he was too strong. And then he was dead. Why didn't you say anything? Why would you do such a thing? She deserved it. And I didn't want to palm it off Brucey Duggan's kid as mine. I lied to you, Matt! He was your... What? Oh, I'm so sorry, Brucey. Aaron was Matt's son. I just, I wanted him to be yours. You? Brucey! Get Matt and bring me back to the station. a long night. You understand you have been charged with perjury? A public prosecutor may well consider a charge of accessory to murder. Murder? You lied under oath and a murderer was acquitted. You don't expect a slap on the wrist for that, do you? But I did it for love. The law doesn't recognise love as a mitigating circumstance. Roger West has been charged. Waiting for the bail, Justice. Mr Proctor, ready to charge you now. You're free to go, Miss West. Brittany's confession. What confession? You said she made a series of admissions. So I did. You were lying. I wasn't going to let her get away with it. I'll do something else, Susie. It's oh. just... Um, Did I hear you? Not much. Charles, Rainer, where are you? Are you satisfied with your treatment by the police here today? You have to be kidding. Constable Jones ought to join the Gestapo. Well, I'm happy to take your complaint now, if you like. Forget it. Where do I sign? Your father's still waiting for the bail, Justice. I was wondering about Brucey. Has he turned up here? I think he's left me. Oh, sorry, we, we haven't seen him. You're free to go, unfortunately. I've got something for you from me and Aaron. And what would that be, darling? BKC, <laughs> this is Mount Thomas 900 Urgent. We need an ambulance at our location. We have a man shot. Told your father to forgive and move on. You were right there all the time and you didn't listen to a word I said. <laughs> 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 